All right, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Russian back here into the video here today, and I know you guys like my stories, so I was sitting here, you know, just playing zombies like I usually do, and this uh, this story just kind of popped into my head uh, that I completely forgot about the half. Um, it's actually two stories, but I'm just gonna kind of merge into one because it involves the same kid. And he pretty much did the same thing both times. But basically what happened is uh, I have this friend Alex. And he's a uh, he's a fairly big kid. You know, he's uh, he's kind of tall. Uh, but he was always older than the rest of us in our grade because I think he stayed back maybe once or twice, whatever. But basically, you know, Alex is that guy that he always has to be tougher or stronger or anything else. Like, he just has to be better than everybody else for whatever reason even if he's not, but I think we all have a friend like that, you know what I'm saying, but we just kind of wanted to deal with it, but we were sitting in seventh grade, and we were in gym class, whatever, and Alex starts, you know, uh, talking about weights or whatever, I don't know, probably because we were in gym, we started talking about weights and everything like that, I don't know why, but Alex, uh, he sat there, and in seventh grade, and this kid's not very muscly at all, you know, he's like kind of tall, kind of lanky, whatever, and he plays soccer, you know, it's not, uh, you know, that he, he doesn't really look like the type that works out his arms and everything. He's not super scrawny, but he's not, like, jacked. And, basically, he, uh, he tells us, oh yeah, I can bench, uh, 450 pounds, you know, pretty easily. And I'm, like, sitting there going, like, bruh, most people work out their entire lives and they don't, uh, you know, get to be able to bench 450. What makes you, someone that doesn't even work out? Like, you know, what makes you be able to bench 450? And this kid was maybe like 170 pounds or something like that. Because I said he was pretty tall. He's like six foot. And, you know, he has some anger issues. And he starts getting, you know, really mad. And he's like, no, I can fucking do it. I can fucking do it. And I would show you if I had enough weight here. And we're like, yeah, sure, dude. And it was me and a couple other people along with Alex. You know, we were in gym, whatever. And we started kind of, you know, poking fun at him. And... The next period we had science and we just kind of kept poking at him and it's like poking a sleeping bear eventually it's going to wake up and it's going to bite you. So basically uh, we kept you know egging him on, egging him on, you know just kind of making fun of him whatever. And we were sitting in science and I guess he was having a really bad day on top of this too. But we were sitting in science and I forget who said something, I don't even think it was me. But I'm sitting right next to this motherfucker. And someone says something to him, like, someone says, uh, I, for, I forget what they said, but he just fucking snaps. He takes one of the big metal stools that we sit on, like, they're, like, maybe three and a half uh, feet tall, whatever, because they were tall tables. And this motherfucker takes one of them with one finger, like, his index finger, and throws into the fucking ceiling, and then storms out, hits, like, a locker all the way down the hall, and we can hear this shit. Like, literally, he just gets up, walks the fuck out, like, slams open the door, and then you could just, you know, hear him down the hall, you know, screaming and cursing and everything like that, and he hit the ceiling with this bitch. He had some velocity on that stool. I'm not even gonna lie, you know, he threw that shit like, you know, it was nothing, and he did this shit with one finger. So I'm sitting there, and I'm dying of laughter, because I'm sitting right next to him, and I knew it was gonna happen, too. Like, you just kinda know when your friend's gonna snap sit there and you're like yep I kind of told you like you know you, you just know if something's gonna happen like that and I think he got suspended for maybe one or two days whatever but everybody else just had this like look of sheer terror like you know it was the worst thing that he could have possibly done to throw a stool into the ceiling and then you know like kind of walk out because he was mad and he didn't want to hit anybody so basically uh, you know that kind of blew over whatever and I think it was a week or two later, we were sitting in social studies, and we had this annoying, annoying teacher. His name was Mr. Dell. Nobody liked him. He was some bald, fat faggot who uh, just pissed everybody off in general. Like, nobody liked the dude, and he just, you know, if he didn't like you, he hated you. I mean, absolutely fucking hated, and he went after you. You know, like, he would purposely intend to be a faggot to you. And I guess, like, me and Alex were, uh, 
we were talking in a group, you know, we were supposed to be doing a project or whatever, and this teacher, I guess, didn't like Alex or whatever, and I guess he was having another bad day, but basically what happens is uh, this teacher goes up to him, and he just starts talking all kinds of shit to him right in his face. He says, you will never amount to anything in life. You're not going to fucking do anything with yourself. You're a worthless piece of shit, pretty much. And, like, he's talking all kinds of shit. I can sit there, and I see Alex tensing up, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's going to happen again. And we were sitting in desks this time. You know, like, full-blown metal desks. And, basically, Mr. Dell, I don't even remember what he said, you know, that made him snap. But, literally, Alex fucking snapped. He got up from his chair through his desk at the fucking whiteboard like he literally threw it and you know like that shit like flipped over and everything and there was another empty desk that he just took and he just like threw it at the door and he walked out again and like i said again i was sitting right fucking next to him like literally it seems like whenever he snapped i was sitting right next to him it was always the funniest thing ever and, like, I'm sitting there dying of laughter again because I'm like, damn, this happened, like, twice in a month. I was sitting right next to him both fucking times. And everybody, again, had the same look of terror. Like, is he going to keep doing this all year? I'm sitting there dying of laughter. Mr. Dell looks at me and says, yo, what's so funny? And I'm like, you do realize that, like, you were the dumbest motherfucker alive. And he just looks at me and he just gives me that face and then just tells me, go to the office. I'm like, I don't care. You're a retard. And then I walked out. I was laughing the whole way there. I never actually got punished for it, but I think Alex got another like couple days suspension or whatever. And I think they made him take anger management classes after that. But it was so funny and it was so worth it at the same time. And literally, uh, this is like another little story. Uh, one of my friends actually stayed back. Another friend, uh, he actually moved out of town, I think, a couple months ago, and he dropped out of school, whatever. Um, but he stayed back uh, in middle school, and we went to his 8th grade graduation because we got out of our final, and it just happened to be the day of the middle school graduation. So we went, and we had this bitch teacher um, that we didn't like. Her name was uh, Miss... I call her Miss Wiggle. And basically... Uh, her, Mr. Dell, and some other faggot teacher, uh, were all sitting in front of him, and, uh, I forget who it was, but we booed somebody, like, we booed one of the teachers or whatever, and they, and then Mr. Dell turns around, and he looks at us and says, can you guys shut up and have some respect? I'm like, hey, can you shut up and actually grow some hair? And then he just, like, kind of turns around, I'm like, yeah, you can't do anything to me now, bitch. And then he just kind of sits there, eventually he moved. Because, like, he didn't want to deal with me. Like, he moved his seat. And the funniest thing about this is, as I said earlier, this dude was one of the most infuriating people on the planet. He's actually a guidance counselor now. I'm like, what the fuck, yo? What the hell? Like, seriously, I, like, when I found that out, I was like, damn, have mercy on anybody's souls that has him as a guidance counselor. Like, please, like, I would beg for mercy. Jesus. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you did enjoy these stories. I really do uh, like bringing you guys some stories that I have from my life. And it's always fun to do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll just be kind of sitting here and I'll be playing zombies. I'll think of something. I'll be like, oh, yeah, shit, before I forget, you know, I'll record it. And, you know, you guys seem to enjoy them, like I said. So, anyway, guys, it has been your boy Russian. I actually have another story. Uh, that involves Miss Wiggle that will be going up, uh, I think it actually goes up before this. I'm going to double upload tonight, uh, which is Monday night, Labor Day. I hope you guys had a great Labor Day. And, uh, oh yeah, another thing really quick. We had to change the name of, uh, Zom Unity because there's actually another Zom Unity that my old friend Action Pact actually owns. And, uh, I contacted him on Skype, you know, everything like that, uh, because I already had him on Skype. And, uh, basically... I asked him if I could keep the name, and he's like, uh, you know, would you mind changing it? I'm like, no, no, no. So I had to change it to World of Cod Zombies. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind the change, but it's pretty much the same thing. I will link uh, World of Cod Zombies in the description, everything like that. All the plans are still on course, uh, everything like that. So, yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy, though. Like I said, uh, 
leave a like on the video. Uh, tell me what flavor Jello you really like. That would uh, really be appreciated in the comments down below. And uh, if you wouldn't mind uh, sharing this video on Twitter, that would really, really be appreciated. And yeah, smash the fucking like button. You know, just hit it like Alex through the fucking stool at the ceiling. Anyway, guys, it's Booty Boy Russian. See you tomorrow. I love you. Peace out.